All right. So for number six, um, this is three point. Was this three point three or four? Three, four, three point four. Number six. Uh, it says this: a total of fifty-eight teens attended a sports camp to train in at least one of three sports: swimming, cycling, and running. So if you're going to make a Venn diagram, you're going to want to put at least three circles in there, I guess, right? That's what we're kind of dealing with. 35 trained in swimming, so there's a total of 35 in swimming, 32 trained in cycling, and 38 trained in running. So that would be the addition of all of the numbers inside the circles, not taking into consideration any that are double counted, right? That's just counting everybody, and sometimes you might be double counting or triple counting some. So nine trained in swimming and cycling, but not running. Okay, so swimming and cycling, but not running. So it probably might be a good idea to do the Venn diagram, right? Hopefully you're all kind of thinking, yeah, it's probably a good idea to draw the circles there and kind of get everything going. So swimming, cycling, and running, okay? All right, so with these, now in, in the, this is the answer key, right? This is the solution. They just used the uh, formula for the principle of inclusion and exclusion. So you see it down there, but where does this all come from? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through real quickly the Venn diagram, and then you'll see where this comes from. Because this is where we uh, ultimately want to go, uh, but let's set this up first. So do you remember we kind of, um, if we can, we, we try and figure out what the question is asking for, and then we, f we kind of fill out the values in the diagram from the middle out. Okay, Remember that if we can. So let's see what we can put on here. So what do we ask for? Um, how many teens might be training for the upcoming triathlon? That's swimming, cycling, and running. That's this right here. So we don't know um, that little spot right there. And remember, we did an example just like this. So that's going to be X. That's going to be unknown. Okay. So now we go back, and um, there was 30, 35 for swimming, 32, and there was 38. Now that's going to have to be adjusted when we fill in some other values here. Nine trained for swimming and cycling, but not running. So swimming and cycling, but not running. So that's right here. That's nine. If I put a nine there, I got to take nine from here, and I got to take nine from there. So that's going to be a 26. And that's going to be a 23. Okay. So if you were, like I say, if you were doing the Venn diagram just to kind of get a visual like this, this is what you would do. And I would suggest that many of you kind of uh, would, would really benefit from just doing the visual part there. Okay, 11 trained for cycling and running, but not swimming. Okay, so that goes here. That's 11 right here, right? So if I move some of these 11, that's, that's from here. Now I've taken 11 away there, so that's going to be, what's that, 12? And this is going to be, take 11 away from there, that's 27. Okay. And then 13 trained swimming and running, swimming and running, but not cycling. So 13 goes here. So I got to take another 13 from here. So what's that? 27. That's going to be 14. And then 13 from here. That's 13. Okay. So now this is good. We have. I'll try and erase the things that we don't need anymore. So we have some numbers set up like this. This is great, and we have. Uh, we have this is unknown right here. So um, the principle of inclusion and exclusion. So you might remember that. Hopefully you remember that. It's right here. Okay. It's a big long, you know, page long formula, right? But uh, if we can if we can put the numbers, it's just kind of a plug and play. If we can put the numbers in here, and then we can solve. This is what we're solving for, right? That's what we're solving for right there. This is x, because that's the very middle thing. And this would be a, this is b, this is c. So we have those numbers right away. right? We have those numbers right here, 35, 32, 38. And there they are right there. And uh, sorry, I'll just go back here. So if we have n of a and b, so that's the intersection on our chart, or on our Venn diagram here, the intersection a and b so let's say that's um, S and C. That's here, 9 plus X. You see that? Right there. And then the intersection of the other ones, 11 plus X. And the other one, 13 plus X. Right? And then finally, plus X is in the middle. So if you set this up as an equation, 
then you're going to be able to solve for what x equals. Okay? Because that's the same x in all of the pieces of this of this equation. Okay? So I could say uh, just gather like terms and gather all of the x's and try and isolate for x and you should get seven there. And that should be your middle your middle value. Okay? So I'll just leave that up for a few seconds for you to look at.